In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We'll say three Hail Marys for faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Praise our sins, now and at the hour of thy death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We'll do the five glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. The fruit of the mystery is faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Stay our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. 
The second glorious mystery is the ascension. The fruit of the mystery is hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and the hour. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third glorious mystery is the de descent of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the mystery is the love of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us in the now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in the now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in the now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption. The fruit of the mystery is is a a peace of a happy death. Uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You are the Lord, 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 and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for our sins, now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Give all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. 
The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation. The fruit of the mystery is the trust in Mary's intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us it's this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we set up our side, the only and weeping in the valley of tears. Turn thou, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O holy, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Blessed Virgin Mary, obtain what they contain, obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the Pope's intentions and indulgence, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. St. Catherine Labori, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> The Novena Prayers, in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Lord Jesus Christ, who are vouchsafed to glorify by the numberless miracles, the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant to all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest work have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better or more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore. Grant to beseech you that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorari, remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come before we kneel. Sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous manner. We are loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuary of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that every thought, word, and deed may tend to its greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are queen of angels and of men, amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us, a sure sign of your affection for us, and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. 
ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son, O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us your children the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. In lieu of the gospel and um, a homily, Father suggested we take a look at the uh, Miraculous Metal video. In Paris in 1830, Our Lady appeared to a young religious sister and gave her the design of a new medal. She promised that all who would wear it would receive special graces. Since then, millions of people throughout the world have worn the medal and countless other stories of extraordinary favors received through it. The sister favored with the vision is today St. Catherine Labore, and the medal, Mary's Miraculous Medal. Catherine was born in the peaceful countryside of Burgundy in France, in a little village called fan les moutiers situated about 200 miles south of Paris. The village is much the same today as it was in Catherine's time, with about 200 inhabitants living in a cluster of typical French country houses. One of the finest houses in the village belonged to the Labore family. And it was here that Catherine was born on the 2nd of May, 1806. In the living room, you can still see the table on which the labores had their meals. Whilst over the fireplace are some old family portraits. Her father Pierre and her mother Madeleine. The Labores had ten children. Catherine was the third youngest. Across the road from the Labore home is the little church where Catherine was baptized, and this plaque records the event. Outside, over the entrance, is this statue of our Blessed Lady. From an early age, Catherine was to display great devotion towards her Heavenly Mother. Her own mother died when she was just nine, and Catherine immediately turned to her Heavenly Mother for consolation. One day, after her mother's death, she was seen standing on a chair embracing the family statue of Our Lady. And she whispered to the statue, from now on, you will be my mother. And the Blessed Virgin must have really listened to her words because a very close bond grew up between Catherine and her mother Mary in heaven. Catherine was 11 when she made her first Holy Communion and on that day she is believed to have made a vow to devote her life to the service of God. Then when she was 12, 
her older sister, Mary Louise, left home to join a religious community. Despite her tender age, Catherine took over much of the responsibility for the cooking and the general running of the house. Even with all her housework, she found time to go to daily mass, although this meant rising at five o'clock in the morning and walking two miles to the next village, as the church across the road did not have its own priest. This is the church in the adjoining village of Moutier Saint Jean, where she attended daily mass, and where no doubt she began to grow more and more in holiness. In the evening time, when her household chores were finished, she would often cross the road to her local church for further prayers. You see here the interior of this church. One night, She dreamt that she was in this church and a strange priest was saying Mass. After Mass, still in her dream, she called to see a sick friend and there in the house was the same priest who had said Mass. He spoke to her and told her that it was good to take care of the sick. Next he said that while she would leave him then, some day she would come back to him because God had special plans for her. Some time later, while staying in the nearby town of Châtillon, Catherine called to the House of the Daughters of Charity, which was the religious community her sister had entered. She was shown into the parlour, and on the wall she saw a face she thought she recognised. As she stared at the picture, she realized it was the face of the priest she had seen in her dream. When she asked who he was, she was told that he was the man who had founded the order some 200 years previously, the great St. Vincent de Paul. This discovery intensified Catherine's desire to enter the religious life by joining his Daughters of Charity. She waited until she was 21 to ask her father for his permission to enter. Initially he refused, but a couple of years later he relented. And in January 1830, Catherine joined the community of St. Vincent de Paul in Châtillon. A few months after entering, Catherine moved to the mother house of the community which was then, and is today, situated in the Rudebach in the heart of Paris. And it is here that at number 140 that she began her formal religious training on the 21st of April, 1830. By the time Catherine arrived in the Rudebach, she had developed a great devotion to St. Vincent de Paul, and by a happy coincidence, Four days after her arrival, she had the great joy of taking part with thousands of others in a famous and historic procession through the streets of Paris. The occasion was the final transfer of the silver reliquary containing the remains of St. Vincent de Paul from the Cathedral of Notre Dame to its final resting place in the Vincentian Father's Chapel just around the corner from the Rue de Bac. Following this, Catherine sometimes prayed before the saint's remains, but mostly she prayed at this shrine dedicated to him in the chapel attached to her convent. In May 1830, Catherine told her spiritual director, Father Aladel, 
that on three different occasions, while she was praying here, she saw the saint's heart in front of her. He advised her to try and forget about it, as he felt it must have been her imagination. The 18th of July, 1830, was the eve of the feast of St. Vincent de Paul. And on that day, Catherine poured out her heart to him for a most extraordinary request. Phone charging slowly. This is the fastest phone charger on the mar market. There's a 90% chance your phone is already infected with this. There's a new groundbreaking discovery that's reversing planned obsolescence. And Her request was that through his intercession, she would have the privilege of actually seeing her heavenly mother whom she loved so much. Catherine went to bed as usual at about nine o'clock that night. At about 11.30, she was awakened from her sleep by a child of four or five years. Catherine didn't recognize the child. She concluded he was her guardian angel. The child led Catherine to the convent chapel, to a spot beside Father Director's chair. On arrival, she found the chapel beautifully illuminated. Even though at that hour all the lights in both the convent and the chapel should have been extinguished. Around midnight, Catherine heard a noise coming from her right-hand side. And while she stirred in wonder, her lady came towards her and sat on the Father Director's chair as portrayed in this wall plaque. And this is the very chair on which Our Lady sat for about two hours. She invited Catherine to kneel beside her. The scene is recalled in this piece of sculpture, which is to be found today over the entrance to the Rudebach convent. She gave Catherine a message for herself and for all people. Come to the foot of this altar. There graces will be poured on all who ask for them. Our Lady told Catherine that God had a special mission for her, but did not tell her at that stage what it was. It was not until Catherine had her second apparition on the 27th of November, 1830, that she was to learn what her special mission was to be. She was praying in the convent chapel at about 5.30 in the evening when Our Lady appeared. Initially, she was holding a small globe in her hand. But then the scene changed, and Catherine saw Our Lady standing on a larger globe with her foot crushing the head of a serpent. Her hands were now unfolded and Catherine could see the rays of light coming from gems on her fingers. Later, describing the scene to her spiritual director, Catherine said, Our Lady was beautiful beyond words. She said that as she gazed at the rays of light, she heard a voice saying, Behold the symbol of graces which I will shower down on all who ask me for them. She said that a noble frame then surrounded Our Lady, and she could read on it, written in letters of gold, the prayer, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to Thee. The oval frame then turned and Catherine could see the reverse side a large letter M surrounded by a cross. Underneath the letter M were two hearts, one crushed by thorns, the other pierced by a sword. And Catherine took these to be the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Catherine next heard the voice say, have a medal struck according to this model. Those who wear it when it is properly blessed, will be the recipients of great graces. Catherine told her spiritual director, Father Allado, that Our Lady had appeared to her 
and it asks that a medal be produced in accordance with a specific design. But once again, he felt that she must be imagining it all. However, a short while later, Catherine came back to him and said that in another message, Our Lady had expressed her grave disappointment at the long delay in having the medal struck. So Father Aladel and his superior went and told the story to the Archbishop of Paris, Monsignor de Quelon. The Archbishop felt that there was not enough evidence to take seriously the story of the young sister, but he was nonetheless intrigued by the design of the medal. It was complex and original, but the symbolism was in full conformity with the Church's teaching on the role of Our Lady. So he decided to go ahead and have copies of the medal produced, without any commitment to Catherine's claim that she had received the design from Our Lady. To his surprise, the demand for the medal grew and grew, not only from people in France, but from people throughout the world. Originally the medal was known as the Medal of the Immaculate Conception, but because of the numerous cures and conversions attributed to it, it soon became popularly known as the Miraculous Medal. The Archbishop of Paris felt that in view of the extraordinary way that interest in the medal had grown, he should take seriously Catherine's claim that she had received the design of it from Our Lady. So he established a commission of inquiry. Now Our Lady had instructed Catherine to speak of the apparitions only to her spiritual director, so she did not appear before the commission herself, but she answered all their questions through the medium of Father Aladel. After a full investigation, in 1836, the commission reported in favour of the supernatural origin of the medal. In the meantime, Catherine had finished her initial training in 1831 and had been assigned to another house in Paris, a hospice for the old in Enghien, about three miles from the Rue de Bac. And it was here that she spent the remaining 46 years of her life looking after the old and the sick. True to Our Lady's request, she maintained a silence about her experience, and apart from her spiritual director, she told no one about what she had seen. And although the whole world knew that one of the daughters of charity from the Rue de Bac had seen Our Lady in 1830, and some of her colleagues even suspected that it was Catherine, her identity was never revealed. In the spring of 1876, Catherine felt her days on this earth were numbered, and she decided to confide her secret to her mother superior, Sister Dufe. Some months later, on the last day of December 1876, Catherine died. She was 70 years of age. Get 20% off dentures at Aspen Dental. Schedule your consultation today. Try this before you spend $1,000 on another phone. Oh, this new device reverses the age of phone batteries to its new mint condition. All up. The sisters released the news that the member of the community who had seen Our Lady in 1830 was dead. And suddenly, Catherine, who had remained unknown throughout her life, was now the most talked about person in all Paris. And for three days, thousands of Parisians filed past her remains to pay their last respects. She was laid to rest on the 3rd of January, 1877, in the chapel attached to the hospice where she worked so diligently for the poor and the sick for 46 years.
the self-sacrifice she had made. They started to pray to her, and their prayers were frequently answered. A number of miraculous cures were attributed to her intercession. The cause for her beatification and canonization was subsequently introduced, and her case was considered in the Vatican. In 1933, as part of the process for her beatification, her body was exhumed. It was found to be in a perfect state of preservation. It was brought back to the Rudebach and carried in solemn procession into the chapel of the apparitions. Later her body was placed in a glass coffin at the exact spot where Our Lady had given her the design of the miraculous medal 103 years earlier. And here, her miraculously preserved body can be seen to this day. In 1947, His Holiness Pope Pius XII, in a crowded St. Peter's in Rome, declared her Saint Catherine Labore. He called her the Saint of Silence. Rome was also the location for one of the most famous 19th century conversion miracles related to the miraculous medal. The year was 1842. A wealthy French Jew, Alphonse Ratisbon, was on a sightseeing tour of Rome. He was outspokenly anti-Catholic. His antagonism towards the Catholic Church intensified when his brother Theodore first of all became a Catholic and then a Catholic priest. Now Father Theodore Ratisbon, without his brother's knowledge, was fervently praying to Our Lady for his conversion. While Alphonse was in Rome, he reluctantly agreed to wear a miraculous medal at the request of a friend. A few days later, while he was wearing the medal, Alphonse was visiting this interesting 17th century church, the church of Sant'Andrea della Frate, when suddenly he felt drawn to this side altar. And there, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal appeared to him. Alphonse was instantly converted, and when he asked to be baptized, it was discovered that he had a full understanding of the Catholic faith his knowledge apparently having come to him like a bolt from the blue in the course of the apparition. A special church commission in Rome examined Alphonse's story. It came to the conclusion that the instantaneous conversion of Alphonse Ratisbon was a signal miracle wrought through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Alphonse later joined his brother as an ordained priest and they devoted their lives to the conversion of Jews. Three years after the conversion of Alphonse Ratisbon, a well-known English Protestant minister, John Henry Newman, decided to wear a miraculous medal around his neck. Within two months, he had decided to enter the Catholic Church. He went on to become one of the most famous theologians of the last century, Cardinal Newman. I was down to talk to my doctor about Rebelsis. Ask your health care provider about Rebelsis today.
You have given them the bread from heaven. Lord Jesus, who gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death, may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us in the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be a holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be a glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen.